Yep. Not for you. Oh, not for you. <laughs> oh, definitely. All right, definitely got some. Oh wow. Oh man. I didn't think you were that clever. A grenade. Oh, I see it right there. Got you that time. Trust me. Okay. 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 This feels kind of weird. Don't touch it. Yeah, I know the drill. Thanks for the charity. Everyone, everyone, welcome to the first meeting of the Union of Support Staff for Nefarious Individuals. <coughs> All right, Krampus, listen up. That name is way too long, and I mean way too long. I just forgot about it. It's that long. Fine, baby face. Welcome to the Union of Support Staff for Nefarious Individuals, U-S-S-N-I. Is that better? Yeah, good morning and all that. My name, as you know, is Herbert von Hensch. Most of us all know each other, but why don't we go around the table for some of our newer members and introduce ourselves, shall we? Well, I'll start. I'm Babyface, Vice President of the Children of Anarchy to Northern East Coast Personnel of Anarchy Rebel Motorcycle Club. My name is Shadowblade. I'm an assassin that lives in the dark. You told me your name was Abby's registration. Wait a minute. How old are you? I thought you were older. Don't label me. And rude. Shadowblade is scary. I mean, who gets assassinated by a girl named Abby? Why doesn't Babyface have his real name on his name tag? That is my real name. What? You think my parents were right in the head? Do you? I mean, right? I wasn't aware she was a little girl. What kind of girl is a renowned assassin? I mean, who was her dad? John Vick? These are my parents. I wasn't raised by the nicest people. Anyway. And who's next? Do you want to go first, darling? Why, sure, dear. Hi, I'm Aaron with an A. And I'm Aaron with an E. It's an E. And we're newlyweds. And we steal stuff. Like you stole my heart. Well, some people steal jewels, money, and hearts, darling. My name is Sneaky J. And let me just say, I got a lot of friends at this table. I have no enemies. I like you guys. You guys I like. Let's keep it that way. I hate all those people. I mean, when I say friends, what I mean is useful idiots. Those guys stink. <laughs> okay, anyone else? My name is Millie Samali. <laughs> uh, Yes, well, my, my name is Millie C. Melly. Okay, done. I am the assistant CEO of the Cheap Cheap Cigarette Company. Even though I may look like a ruthless business person, I am one of you and I and the Cheap Cheap Cigarette Company with their fantastic and tasty cigarettes are on your side. Yeah, let me be real. Marketing cigarettes to the younger population was a terrible idea. 
This is a generation apparently with the least amount of smokers. I gotta hit the market where it really counts. These rough and tough kind of people? It's my market now. I'm here for my money. Whoever thought the idea that smoking is bad and then giving millennials these things that look like thumb drives to smoke caramel flavored tobacco was a real evil genius. <laughs> so brilliant. I don't trust that CEO lady. I know bullshit when I smell it. Let's get down to business. What are some problems you people are facing at work? I want to say some problems. Well, I will start off since no one else wants to. As you know, I work for Baron von Wilhelm. Baron von Sinister, to you, an evil jackass. And he decided to put his lair inside an active volcano. Oh. Yeah, 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 I know it sounds cool, but it's not. The air quality is horrible. So smoke in the air at all times. I mean, I have to wear a gas mask just to be in the office to take care of simple payroll questions. This wouldn't be a problem if Baron von Sinister would just install a ventilation system or oxygen tanks or a window or, I don't know, not have his work inside of a partially active volcano. <clears throat> I have I uh... feel you, Herbert. Healthcare is a big deal for me and my baby. A baby? I meant you, darling. Right. We don't know where we're going to be working week to week. And we have to crawl through dusty, unknown ventilation shafts, cut by the glass we broke, burned by laser grids, shot up by the guards we didn't know were there, etc., etc., etc. We can't be expected to raise a family in such harsh conditions. We don't have kids yet, but when we decide to steal a baby, we won't do so until our world is safe enough for one. Kids are the most important thing. I just want to bring up. That's an Shut up, Abby! Come on. I hate my name. Now, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, three times can I talk now, Shadowblade? Don't you have a My Chemical Romance concert to go to or something? Okay, first of all, calm the hell's angels town. And second, how did you get that thing through the metal detector? Oh, this? This was easy. Your metal detector? It's just the guy with the wand. I just made a really charitable donation. The next person that interrupts me again gets turned into mincemeat! I'm terrified of that guy. I, I just hope he doesn't kill us all. Uh, that would be bad for business in all kinds of ways. Oh, yeah. So... Currently, the floor belongs to Babyface. B Babyface, you have the floor for as long as you want or whatever. Now, let's get to the big picture. All this health stuff. There's a guy out there playing good guy, beating up the children of anarchy to northern east coast personnel of Anarchy Rebel Motorcycle Club. Would you be like a vigilante? Bingo. What kind of vigilante? Oh, I don't know, the, the guy that flies through a window, kills three of my men, and then Sparta kicks me off the balcony of a three-story building. Do, do, do you know how much an emergency room visit for being Sparta kicked off the balcony of a three-story building is? How much? Guess. A visit to the Louvre. Three fancy jewelry boxes. And yachts. One week's worth of drug deals. <gasps> yeah. yeah, Gasp is right. And on top of those hospital bills, Mr. I'll kick you off a building keeps trying up my guys and leaves them for the 5-0. You know what? Next time he meets me, he's gonna be real sorry you didn't kill me. My six best men got thrown in the slammer because of that punk. How am I supposed to conduct business and pay bills if I got nobody to conduct business and pay bills with? Everyone that's a little bit high strung, I think we should all just settle down and relax. I like to relax by having a cigarette. Anyone want a cigarette? Oh, free cigarettes. Oh, oh, what gross. are you doing with cigarettes? What? Cigarettes will kill you. Gross. What in the hell does she think she's doing? Unbelievable. I mean, I know she's a businessman. Businesswoman. Business person, sorry. Trying to sell the stuff in the meeting, though? I don't think she's taking this union seriously. She's killing people with those cigarettes. Get your cigs out of here, you soup. 
Cigarettes kill people. Oh, come on, you're an assassin. That's way worse. We're here for our serious issues, Millie. Not to sell our products. Do you, do you sell anything? What? Yeah, I sell products. I got a line of scentless gun oils for clean your gun in close, confined spaces. You know, kind of uh, clean your gun while you wait. It's probably... Will you stop talking about things that don't matter? What about equal pay, huh? Oh, sure, groan all you like, but us female burglars do not get treated properly, okay? What if we deserve money too, you know? That's true. Finally, someone said it. I kill twice as many people as the next man. I'm gonna get three-fourths pay. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's my baby. Baby? No baby, baby. I was hired to go kill these guys up in New York last year, and the guys that hired me didn't even pay me. They, I had to cover my own plate and everything. And then the boss told me to deal with it. And so I had to go kill them and then get the money myself. Great extra work for no extra pay. That was you? Oh. Bobby with a Y and Bobby with an I had a great future ahead of them. Oh, let's not lose track here. We still have a hero in tight pants running around kicking people off of roofs. Doesn't matter how much we get paid if we're all wearing stripes. So what do you want to do about it? A strike. We need to march up there in front of the bosses and stand up for this. Yeah, I don't think I'll do that. The bosses need to see what we're dealing with out there. Yeah, they, they need to see it and they need to understand it. Maybe way back when, back in their day, it was easy. It's different now. The world is different now. And we have to be on the right side of change. It's time for them to take a larger part in what we do. I mean, we're a union. And a union means we're supposed to stick together. Think about it. If we stand up to the bosses, they'll know that we really mean business. Go Usni. Business is right. I'll show up, I'll shake a few hands, I'll have a few drinks. Then I'll mind my business somewhere else. <laughs> no way am I staying for whatever that turns into. You know what? You are right. I'll be there. Yeah, that's a good idea, Sneaky Jay. That, that strike sounds good. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We can all go out for twinks afterwards. <laughs> well, uh... <clears throat> Uh, let's avoid the bars up on 16th Street. I sort of owe a large tab on them. All of them. No problem. Drinks are on me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 I lifted this off Sameli this morning. <laughs> yeah. So, drinks are on me. Also, I know how it's going to end with the bosses. Not good. Not good. First order of business is a funeral plan for the recently fallen. Maybe a strike against evil, murderous criminal bosses wasn't such a good idea. How did you survive, little girl? My mom said it wasn't a good idea to go protesting with you guys on a school night. Thank you.